here with Chris Bergeron and Miami Red Hawks. Miami wins seven to four at Mercyhurst today. Coach, uh, the Lakers got a goal in the first period, and then your team really bounced back four goals in about nine minutes and the first beginning of the second. What did you see offensively in that stretch? No, I saw I saw a, a, a team uh, with a plan in the offensive zone in particular, and I thought we executed the plan pretty well. And then usually get rewarded when you're executing the plan. You know, I um, happy to see some guys get on the scoreboard that we want. Um, obviously, goals have been not easy to come by for our group, so it's nice to nice to get seven on the board. But that's what I saw. Um, it, it, they didn't get down after giving up the first goal. Unfortunately, we've been we played from behind a bunch this first half, um, and we acted like it. We were we were totally fine. We kept pushing, scored pretty pretty quickly, and then and then scored again. So I, I think that's what I saw. It was just a group um, not letting a goal against change their mindset. Uh, and then a, and the group that started to push the pace and, and, uh, and play in the offensive zone properly. Campus ride, Chris, got it started with the first goal coming off a series against Western Michigan where he had a point in each of those games. What have you seen from him kind of production-wise? Uh, well, production-wise, I mean, I, w- what we want from Hampus is, is hard, smart, simple. And any production we get is all, is all you know, basically gravy. Uh, you know, he, he, we know he's capable, Tim. That's not what I'm talking about, but... What I'm talking about is too many pucks are ending up in our net again tonight. Too many pucks ended up in our net. Uh, but Hampus is a guy that's capable of helping with offense. Um, what I what I like about tonight's play is we showed up. He had the exact same situation against Western Michigan and tried to pass it. And it got broken up and it wasn't even a shot on net. And tonight he shot the puck and good for him. Also in that stretch, the highlight real type goal from Regish on the breakaway kind of juke out the goalie. Just talk about that individual play. Well, the, 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 the crazy part about that play, Tim, is it was a really poor first shift for Michael. It really was. It was a, they came out down two to one at home and pushed really hard. And that shift was in our whole, was in our zone the whole time. And then, uh, you know, they got probably an unlucky bounce or, or we got a lucky bounce. However you want to look at it at the, at, at our defensive blue line and Michael took advantage of it. And then the, the finish, I mean, that was, that was special. I, you know, that was a, um, we know that he's a guy that can score goals, and, and he showed it there with, with, with his finish on that one. I felt like maybe the play of the game came beginning of the third period. It's four to two. You get a power play at the end of the second and coming right out of the dressing room 20 seconds in or so, kind of probably exactly textbook what you would want to see from that power play unit. Yeah, I totally agree. You know, totally agree. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it played out uh, or how Barbellini got the puck. I, I think it was an entry for us. It was a good entry. Barb's made a good pass to Ryan, and what what Ryan has been doing fairly consistently for our group is shooting the puck in the net. I don't know how many goals he's got, but he's a guy that we've, we've grown accustomed to scoring goals and he scored another one there and then good for him. Generalize, what does your schedule look like for these next couple of weeks and how do you hope to take momentum from this into the rematch at the beginning of January? Well, generally, Tim, the boys are, are going off their, their separate ways, you know, for the next couple of weeks, uh, Though four or five of them will leave from here tonight and go home with their family. And, and the other 24, 23, 25, whatever it is, we'll, we'll leave uh, tomorrow, whether that's by car or, or flying. And they'll, we'll reconvene in, in Oxford on December 27th and go back to work the 28th. We'll have a full week to prepare for Mercyhurst for the back end of this home and home. And then, um, and then get ready for league play, which is obviously it's obviously really important, um, but every opportunity to play a game is important for us. But I, what we're going to ask the kids to do is, is, uh, is stay in the weight room and train and skate if they can, but knowing that we'll have seven full days to get right starting December 28th. So um, I think for college kids, Sims, it's important that they rest mentally and physically, you know, that with parameters. I mean, it's not a, I don't want it to be a free for all the next couple of weeks, but I do want them to rest and enjoy time with friends and family. Sounds good. Thanks coach. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.